It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay with us on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the second group stage match here at Euro 2024 for the two teams. Stuart, what are you expecting? Thanks, Derek. Well, it was a really good start for our hosts, wasn't it? But they need to back it up with another good display today. The fans certainly expect them to. So here is the lineup. Well, if they're going to play as a 4 4 2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. And options in the centre. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. And delivered into the box. And that wasn't a bad header at all. Couldn't quite get over the ball. And the Serbia starting 11. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? well Derek he's so dangerous in the air but it's not just his aerial ability it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them he always seems to be in the right place attending to his defensive chores Well, looking at the table, it might be a celebratory occasion for the home fans because they know their heroes could clinch a place in the knockout stages and with games to spare, Stuart. Yeah, it's in their hands. They just need to hold their nerve here and get the job done. Ilic. Now, what can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Oh, great play. But no damage done. That's the main thing. Kostic. Ivan Ilic. Top class defending. Cesko. A bit sloppy in possession. Once again, couldn't keep hold of it. Kostic. Biol, Blažić, couldn't hang on to the ball. Making progress, cross fired over, just wanted to get it out of there. Doing well to win it back, what can they do from here? And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. 
some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Oh, a good diving save. Now sending it in. Really being closed down and didn't like it. A chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Who can he pick out? Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And taking care of the situation. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Ivan Ilic. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Dujan Tadic is normally so very influential, but not able to bring his influence to bear on the proceedings so far. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. On attacking possibilities. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, it's just about a case of wall-to-wall -wall football live with us here on EA TV. And Stuart and I will be with you for this game coming up. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Well, advantage coming into play, and rightly so. And giving the ball away. And support available. Petar Stojanovic. Biol. Miha Blažić. Well, potential danger. Janja. Really good build up, but no end product. A lot of live football to come right here on EA TV. And I very much hope you can join us for this oh, game. Oh, great moment here, Derek. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Miha Blažić. Biol. Crossing possibilities. Is this the moment? Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up.
Time for a change then. Nikola Milenkovic. Andrija Zivkovic. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Milinkovic Savic, and what a magical save it was! Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Playing it in, nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? inside the final 15 minutes and winning it back moving the ball forward with purpose played into the box oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make Unable to keep the ball. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. And teammates to play it to. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Down by a goal. This could be their final opportunity to snatch something. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They're totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Opportunity! Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Here it is now, a substitution. And the final whistle has sounded, and a win here for Serbia. And they'll be delighted with the outcome. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.